Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back on the tutorial, and today's gonna be showing y'all how to make overlay file size smaller. And before I get into the video, I want to say I appreciate y'all for 3,000 subscribers on YouTube. You feel me? Appreciate everybody that's been watching my videos, been learning from my videos, been sharing my videos to their friends. With all that being said, um, shoot, for 3K, I'm gonna get y'all a little free GFS pack. I'm gonna make this one a PSD version right here. And I'm gonna drop a vlog and I'm also gonna do a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. But if this video help you out, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And let's get straight into it. And this video was kind of uh, requested by a subscriber, also. I got a lot of subscriber request videos that I plan on dropping, so stay tuned for that also. But let's get straight into it. So, the first thing you wanna do is open up Adobe After Effects. And if you don't have a link for this, let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna show you how to do all that. But you're gonna need Adobe After Effects and you're gonna need, a, need a Adobe Media Encoder Q. But at the same time, you might not need it, but I'm gonna get to that later on in the video. So, what you wanna do first is go to New Composition. And let's say you're making an overlay, right? Now, the first thing you wanna do is have your frame rate on 30 um, FPS, or you can have it on 60, it's really not gonna matter. I just use 30 to make my file look smaller. But let's say that you made an overlay and you're getting done with it. I'm gonna just open up overlay because it's gonna make a difference. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna go get a uh, overlay, right? You see this one is a, let me see, 141,000 um, megabytes right here. I mean, 141 megabytes. So I'm gonna just drag this down here. As you can see, I dragged it in here. And I'm acting like I'm done with my overlay because this is how it's gonna look when y'all get done. So after this, you wanna go to file export and you wanna add to Adobe Media Code Q. So I'm gonna let that load up and I'm gonna show you what to do right after this. So I was loading up. So for this step right here, I'm gonna have a link in the description that y'all need to click on. It's gonna be to download this file. Um, it's gonna be like this webm download, and I'm gonna leave the Adobe Media and Code Q down there also. And I guess I'll leave the uh, After Effects download too. But make sure you download that webm file, and I'm gonna leave a video showing how to get it. So you wanna come down here, and instead of selecting QuickTime, because QuickTime is actually an easy way to lower your size, mm -hmm. um, your file size also instead of using anything else. But MP4 is good, really good too, if you don't want to use Webm. But Webm, it, it works good with everything. So you can just pick Webm, or if I'm not saying it right, <laughs> but shoot, pick that, and then you want to click on it. Like click that right there and let the dynamic link connection mm -hmm. pop up and let all that load up. So yeah, <laughs> my boy Jay's just hit me on Twitter, but shoot. um, Yeah, so once this load up, you want to, Put your frame rate to 30 if you want to lower it a little bit more. And the VP9, VP8, this really don't matter that much, but it will take longer to render, and sometimes they'll hit you with an hour, bro. Like, you'll set this thing right there, hit you with an hour render, so I just go with VP8 to stay on the safe side, and then I hit include alpha channel. And I do this right here so when people use OBS and stuff like that, they stuff can, it can go PNG, and it won't have no issues. Include your alpha channel. Cause my homeboy the other day, I, I was telling him I was gonna make a video on this, and he said he was one working. And I asked him that he include the alpha channel. He said nah, he didn't include it. So make sure you include that, and then you want to hit OK, and that's pretty much all you gotta do. And when you look down here, your estimated um size, I mean file size, that won't be right all the time, but on this one, it's actually gonna come out to be lower than seven megabytes. This right here gonna come out to be like three megabytes. Just watch me um render this real quick. So once you get done clicking everything you need to click, just click that right there and put this somewhere you can remember to find a file at. Now the first time you're making a webm file, it's not gonna show other files on the list because it's a different type of file right here. You see I made these overlays, so it's only showing webm files right here. So just name it something you can remember, 10K. Name this Dragon. And this does not take long to render unless it's your first time rendering. See this file right here already been rendered, so it, it's gonna run like in uh, two minutes, but I'm gonna skip the render process and when it gets done, I'm gonna show you what to do. All right, so once it gets done rendering, you should see that little check mark right there. And hold on, let me turn my notifications on. You see a little check mark, and I'm gonna say this too. I appreciate all y'all that be hitting me up on Twitter and stuff like that also. I be having a lot of supporters hit me up, tell me they missed my videos and asking for help. You feel me? If you need help, always hit me up. I'm gonna hit you back for real, so. But yeah, go find your file. And we just gonna look for it and open it up, right? And make sure you open it as a media source. And I just opened up the overlay to show you now. If you wanted the quality to look better, 
you can just uh, turn the quality up to like 75 or 100 percent i put mine on 50 so it can render quickly but even if you up the quality the size file is not gonna go over 100 megabytes probably not even gonna go over 50 might not even go over 30 bro because i'm about to show you how small this file this file is right here so just click on this right here so you can see the file location right click go to properties look just like an mov file go to properties and you see it's only three megabytes right here and just hit okay and you can even open it up to view, view it on your pc which is something you can't do with mov if you're on windows so you feel me this is how you make it right here um and that's pretty much it and these are other overlays i made with it and yeah if you want to if you got bad wi-fi you need to send a file quick just make it with webm render it with webm but i be rendering mine with mov when i send it to like other clients i only do these type of overlays right here in webm but if this video helped you out, like I said, I know I've been talking too much, but shoot, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, being boy Dragon Peace out. And once again, I appreciate y'all for 3K. Let's get it.